Why so many people fail in cybersecurity? You see, in cybersecurity, there is so many different fields. You have like the ethical hacking, you have the you have the malware analysis, the incident response, the SOC analyst, you have the like the threat intelligence, threat hunting, so many different names and so many different things. And people get confused when they start learning cybersecurity. They think it's all about like ethical hacking and stuff like that. But they enter that field and they, they see so many different fields. And inside these fields, there's so many different certificates to, to get you from here to there. You, you, you apply for the certificate, you get the certificate, and that will allow you to apply for this and this and these jobs. And then after that, you need to get another certificate. And from the next certificate, you get this and this and these jobs. And you go beyond, like, you go from one to another to a third to a fourth. And the problem here is that you lose sight, you, you follow this video, you get excited about that field, you learn a little bit, then you find another job about a different field, so you start learning to apply for that job, you don't get this job because you just started, then you return back to the previous video, or you go to a third field and, and the circle goes on. And so many people, they are just going inside this cycle and don't break out of it and they fail over and over and over again. It's sad to see this, and the way to break out of it, out of it is basically, it's just look around you, look what is the topics, what is the things that companies are talking about, what is the problems they are facing, what are the threats that are popping in the media over and over again, is it an SQL injection like this type of attacks, like web attacks, is it a ransomware, is it a malware, what is the things written in the media? What is the skills that need to, to protect these organizations against these attacks? If you have these skills that can protect these organizations from these attacks that's coming in the media over and over and over again, you will be as valuable as the, the, the risk that you are protecting them from. You will be as valuable as protecting against these attacks is valuable to them. I know that it, it might be difficult when you are coming inside a, a complete new field like cybersecurity and you, you need to understand what is actually about, what are the fields there, what is the things in the media. It's very really difficult to do that research. But I have a good, great news for you actually. I have made that research myself. I have looked at what is, what are all the different reports, statistics, researches, and, and news media, and found what is the most demanded skill that companies are hiring for in 2020, 2021, and beyond. What is the most required skill at that time, right now and after? I have pulled all of these things together and I made a webinar, a free webinar actually, that talks about exactly this, the most demanded cybersecurity skill that companies are hiring for in 2020. I recommend you to check it out. I'll put the link maybe up there or or down below in the description. Just make sure that you sign, you you click on it, you register, and then you watch the webinar. And the webinar takes around like two hours, two hours and a half, but it's really packed with so much of information. I try to make it smaller, but like this is the most packed free presentation that I ever give. And it gives you exactly what is the most demanded cybersecurity skill, including so many details about what is the jobs that you can apply for, what are the, the, the skills that you have to have, and what are all the books, the resources, the tutorials, the training, the courses that you can acquire to actually build your skill in that. So make sure that you check it out. I'll put the link around here. Click on the link, register, and watch the video. You can watch it right now. So make sure that you, you watch it and look at the time and watch it. See you in the next, see you in the webinar. Bye bye.